So, as you can see, something slightly different for today. Rather than bringing you the next part of the story, I thought I'd bring you some footage of the first world boss, which is the Shatterer. And just to show you what you can expect from this boss. Sorry, just concentrating a little bit on... Well, I was going to say not getting hit by crystals, but I got hit by crystals. So... <laughs> That didn't go particularly well straight off the bat. I am already down. Let's see if I can get back up. Uh, no, for some reason the dog died, but I didn't resurrect, which is weird. So I'm just going to sit and try and bandage myself. There we go. So, time to get the hell out of there. Get some healing on the go. And here we go. Let's lay some deeps on this Shatterer. I'm going to half do some damage. So just a case of burning them down, shooting at the limbs that the thing tells you to target. Uh, try and get as much damage as you can. There we go, wait until the next thing is selected, which is his next limb. Try and burn that down as quickly as possible. And then try and survive. Got to be mindful of your dodges here. So this is the Shatterer, a uh, level 50 world boss and probably is the first world boss that you will ever encounter. Uh, I think the zone is the Blaze, Blaze Ridge Steps, so if you wanted to try and find this guy then that is where you need to go. Now what you need, in this phase what you need to do is burn these crystals down as quickly as possible because the longer these crystals are up then the more health that the Shatterer will recover. I think that's all of them. Although he seems to be just staring at the ground now. Is he getting closer? Oh no, we need to kill the spark. We switch weapons to the longbow. And there we go. Now that we've burnt the crystals down, he didn't manage to heal very much there, so we did a pretty good job. And it's just a case of now damaging him as much as possible. So it takes off into the sky, and then we are going to get more of these AoE crystals landing from the sky, and more dogs spawning. So, just lay some AoE damage down. Take them out as quickly as possible. Just got to switch weapons there, so I can lay some faster damage down. I'm just going to focus on the Shatterer, and to hell with everything else. Not surprised not to be able to stun him there. So I think this guy in the law is the lieutenant of one of the larger world dragons. And there we go. That is the Shatterer down, the first of the epic world bosses. Although technically not dead as he just flies off, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna meet him again at some point in the future. And Obviously, for killing an epic world boss, we get an epic loot chest. So, let's see... Did I get anything? Oh, yes, I did. Just automatically went into my pack. Um, Nothing really I can use, so a little bit disappointing there. So, yeah, that was the Shatterer, the first world boss you are likely to meet in Guild Wars 2 in the Blaze Ridge, Blaze Ridge Steps. So if you want to fight him, I think he's on around about a three hour spawn timer, although it changes randomly as there are uh, pre-quests to it. And if, it, if you are wanting to fight him, then you want to sort of just hang around in the lowland burns up here at this waypoint just uh, north of the monument grounds. And that is the exact area that he spawns. So... My name has been Maxwell and this has been the Shatterer in Guild Wars 2. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully next time we will have some human story for you. Or maybe killing another world boss, who knows.